Hello everyone, out of sheer obligation, I yet again do my every Transformer I got in a year series, except I forgot 2021, so this is, I think, the fifth one, so let's just get into it. Also, apologies for not uploading recently, I've been, uh, busy starting out. We have Earthrise Optimus, Legacy Prowl, a random little Rhinox, mainline Rhinox, thanks to this perspective and recommending it, Legacy Bludgeon, Armada Megatron, Studio Series Mirage, Thrilling 30 RC, a KO Dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime, a little tiny Optimus over there, along with a commemorative series Dirge. I think that's Dirge, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, that's a commemorative series Dirge. After got, we got Legacy uh, Dead End. We got Masterpiece Wheeljack. It's a KO Masterpiece Wheeljack, and I really like them, so I might actually start branching out into more Masterpiece-style figures. Uh, we got the Holy Grail here, finally. We got this custom Combiner Wars Megatron that was painted that I got for, like, $2 at my local, like, used toy shop. So that was uh, pretty neat, along with a lot of other things here, including this customized Combiner Wars Optimus with a Siege head, and it's painted and everything. It's honestly one of my favorite finds this year. I think it was really cool, also for, like, 2 $3. We got Earthrise Smokescreen. Both Rise of the Beasts Bumblebee with the Studio Series and the Yellow Park Model Kit, which both are pretty much in my top five figures for this year, so they're pretty awesome. You got Siege Red Alert, Legacy Blitzwing, Legacy Tarn, whatever this dude is. I also picked him up for $3. We also got Legacy Knockout and this weird Hot Shot Tracks Crosshairs figure. I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be, but I have him. We got the main line Rise of the Beast Optimus, which I really do love. We got a G1 KO Devastator, also for like $3. He's pretty sick. We got Studio Series Thundercracker and a broken G1 Jetfire, Skyfire, whatever you want to call him. And of course, we got the Lego Optimus Prime, which is one of my most anticipated things of the year. And lastly, we have this strange Megatron for five dollars which I actually found it like it was Walmart I found this for five dollars and the box said it was from 2008 and it had the movies on the back saying buy these next that back that up it was like Empire Strikes <laughs> just like a greatest hits blu-ray thing but you fold it in the feet Not lose his foot. You scrunch up his legs. Boom. He's a DVD case. He's got the original Bay movies in there. Honestly, a weird find, but a pretty cool one this year. And that is pretty much it. Obviously, I don't have too much to say. I finally got Studio Series 38 Optimus for my, uh, I got seven Optimi this year. Seven Optimi. The weirdest one being this dude. So, again, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is every Transformer I got in 2023. Oh, I almost forgot to mention Animated Prowl. And I will hopefully be getting that Optimus next year. Because he is the coolest thing I've ever seen. But, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, Happy New Year and here's to 2024, everyone. Yay!